time I'm here, I never know what to say. Like it's, there's, what can you say? You're literally on top of the world here. It's absolutely incredible. Welcome to God's country, AKA Southern BC, and welcome back to the Big Fish Energy. I wanna take you along and immerse you in the scenery, the environment that I'm in right now. This is the town of Karameos. This is where our home base is located. We're just up on the peak. We got some big fly fishing adventures planned ahead of us. Next stop, Kettle River for some beautiful rainbow trout on the dry fly and the nymphs. Let's friggin' go. Well, we just got to the campsite. It pissed rain this afternoon. As soon as we got here, we were setting up, just downpoured, freaking thunderstorms, crazy lightning. Definitely brought the river up a little bit, unfortunately, but it's still, it's still flowing okay. I'm gonna do some dry fly tonight to start. I got a little beetle I wanna toss around. I feel like after the storm, it's gonna have pushed a lot of bugs into the stream, a lot of flow. I'm so goddamn excited to toss some fly line here. Here she is, the Kettle River. We're just gonna take a gander here and see what the hell is going on on the water. Oh, this is a nice little fucking spot here. Let's get up here and show you guys. Look at this, someone's canoe, no idea. Okay, I think, uh, it's time to get fishing. Uh -huh. There we go. There we go, guys. Awesome. First fish. There we go. <laughs> Let's get him in the net. We'll give him a little better look here. Oh, beauty, little bow. <laughs> there he is. Awesome. Look at that, eh? Here he goes. Mother Nature blessed us with a pissing of rain this morning. It was raining all morning. Unfortunately, it blew the river out a little bit. The water got really silty. It's gone up about a foot, two feet since last night, unfortunately. All right, so I got this Scientific Anglers uh, nymph dropper rig here. It's pretty cool. Never tried it before. We're gonna give it a whirl today. The little thingamabob should do pretty good on these conditions here. We're just gonna follow some of the current seams. We don't need to go out in the crazy water. They're gonna be tucked up along the edges here where the bubbles are. You can look for the lines when you see the bubbles coming through. Those are the areas you wanna target. So this is what the name of the game out here this time of year. You never know what to expect. Oh, rise right in front of me there. Well, it has been a grind so far. Water's dirty, water's fast. It's hard getting the fly down to where the fish are. I've seen a couple rises, not enough to go dry fly though. I'm just gonna keep grinding here, keep working the seams up the river. Hopefully we can get into a couple today. Maybe the sun will come out later, we'll get into a hatch, who knows, but goddamn, for now, we're gonna keep grinding. Tough, tough, tough. Let's see if we can get anything stirred up here. Goddamn, the water is turbid. 
So funny, last time I was here, this was a slow moving pool. Just hope it friggin' changes around on us here. What you're seeing, all these burnt trees here, many years ago, a forest fire rolled through this area. Obviously everything's regrown now, the trees are bouncing back, but uh, yeah, all up on the mountain here, everywhere around us. And it only affected a portion of the uh, provincial park. We're in Kettle River Provincial Park. But man, you can only imagine, eh? But with dev devastation and destruction comes new growth, as you can see. So at least there's that. Well, the rain's moved in. Water's just raging away. I'm gonna go have a beer. I'm gonna let the river chill till a bit later. Hopefully we can get on some. See you guys in a bit. Well, guess what? It's pissing rain still. We came back, took a little break, hoping the rain would subside. It hasn't yet. It's supposed to stop around six. We've got a fire going. Trying to come up with the game plan. The river's blown out, it's running fast, it's dirty. It's gonna be very challenging, so. Get some good homemade burgers going tonight. See if the hatch comes out or anything or we can get on any type of action whatsoever. We only have so much time down here in this beautiful, beautiful country. God damn, can't control the weather, but it just kills me. Doesn't rain, it's always dry down here. And then I come down to go fish, and it rains for two days straight. Fuck. It's finally nice out. It's not supposed to rain anymore. Based on the past two days, I find that hard to believe, but either way. Um, the river is absolutely blown out. It's completely different than when we got here last night. It's, it's fishable, but I mean like it's absolute shit right now. It's just not ideal right now. So we're gonna make a jump tomorrow. We're gonna leave two days early. We're gonna make a jump to the Estanola River. Hasn't been raining as much over in that mountain range. It's closer to home. So we're gonna give that a shot. Hopefully it produces some fish. All right, well, we are back at the old homestead. We got the hell out of Dodge this morning. We're actually getting the boat ready. My dad recently picked up this beautiful Marlin John boat. Really, really nice. We're just putting some more locks on it so we can actually take it up to a mountain lake tomorrow. It's called Nickel Plate Lake. It's a good drive up the mountain. It's one of the higher elevation lakes. Should be some really good rainbow trout in there. So we're just getting the boat ready right now. We're gonna hang out for the rest of the day, regroup, hit the water hard tomorrow. Well, we're almost at the lake, freaking awesome. Quite the trek here through the mountain. We're on a switchback trail, a little logging trail. You need a truck, let's just put it that way. Oh, look at this lake. Oh my God. Man, blessed though. Nobody here. Wide open lake. There's fish rising all over the place. All we gotta do is get the boat in the water and get going. She's almost ready to go. We got that electric trolling motor. The hatch is on. The fish are rising. My God. 
Let's get us out here. Parents are already in there. They couldn't wait. Got the dry flies going. I'm going to start with a nymph on an indicator. Let's try to figure out the pattern here. See if we can do some damage. Here we go. Nice. Still got him. Yeah. Oh, keep... there he is. Oh. oh, it's almost. Okay, watch your line on mom's line there. Bring him over here, mom. Keep that tension on him. Yeah. So that's okay. That's a. That was awesome though. All right, well, I've seen some activity this morning. My parents have missed a couple. I missed one myself, but uh, got a little cold front that just blew in here. It got pretty chilly. We're gonna go back, have some sandwiches, regroup a little bit. You know, that's fishing. We'll see what we can do. Hopefully the wind dies down. It'd be a blessing to see the sun on this trip. I've seen less sun than friggin'. It's like only when we're at home we see sun. I don't understand. Actually, that's a good idea, yeah. yeah. So we were just came in for lunch. We were doing a bit of exploring over here. There's a little creek that runs off the lake. There's a bunch of trout posted up on these logs here, and there's one massive one in there. Beautiful rainbow just cruising around. I'm gonna try to get him. It's gonna be tough. But I have a plan. We're gonna go in behind. We're gonna go up. She's just chilling in front of this rock. There's a bunch of small ones launching around all over the place. It's gonna be friggin' nuts. I'm so friggin' stoked right now. I hope we get him. Where is he, Pat? Yeah, I landed right on top of him. He's looking at it. Beautiful little rainbow, look at that. Here, get back, come on, bud. There he goes. This is frustrating. That's the thing with fly fishing is you got to get ex like if they're in the zone on something. You got to. <laughs> there you go. Just a tiny little beauty. Well, that was pretty cool. Had a little fun, caught a couple little trout. Didn't get the big ones, unfortunately. They were a little finicky today, but I'm gonna get back out on the boat. Finally stopped raining. The bugs are coming back out again. Fish are rising, so. I could see them all up in front of the log. right there. <laughs> there we go. Aha, just a little guy. Oh, did we not bring my net? Did I leave it over there? I might have. I'll have to get it. Look at him. Oh, he's cute. Beauty little rainbow. Oh, there it is. 
See that big one down there to your left? Holy shit. <laughs> Watch your line one. That's okay. Beauty little fish. Little beauty. What a cast. Get it in there, bud. All right, there we go. Nice. <laughs> this little guy. <laughs> Yeah. Jeez. I guess they get big oh yeah, there's just a lot of stockies in here. Yeah, this is just fun. Nothing crazy big yet, but just beauty. Look at the colors on this guy. Oh, beautiful, right? Yeah. Get him back here. There he goes. Oh, that's coming. Man, what a friggin' fun little afternoon here on the lake. So clear, so many trout everywhere. Looks like there's another big ass storm rolling in, so we're gonna roll back. We'll yeah. see what happens next. Another day, another forest back road. Calculations are correct. At the end of this road, we should be at this beautiful small lake full of rainbow trout. Drive's been awesome so far. Hopefully the rest pans out. We'll see when we get there. packed just getting some last minute fly lines set up but man the water looks perfect just from standing right by the water i could see a bunch of shrimp swimming around there's a ton of dragonflies around here so definitely going to try some dragonfly nymphs today as well as some scuds and shrimps hopefully we can get on some beauties friggin amped let's go the adventure continues water so clear dragonflies everywhere all right, gonna get us set up here right along the drop off on the weed line. Already seen a few fish smack some dragonflies on the top water, so that's pretty cool to see. All right, so we're set up, got the three lines in. My mom's on a full sinking line. My dad and I have our sinking tips. Some little green shrimp with bead heads. So what we're doing right now is just skirting around the perimeter of the lake. Just gonna work the, the drop offs right on the weed edges and uh, Hopefully we can get one on the deck soon. Seen a bunch of fish jumping around. The wind is a little chopped today. It's pushing the boat around a little bit, but uh, see, we're, we're moving backwards right now. Shit, sorry, I didn't even realize. I'm looking at the shore, I'm like, oh, we're not going the right way. Problem is, is when I, I gotta kick the motor up to keep us moving and it speeds us up, you know? Speed brings the flies back up again. Oh, come on. GoPro, start recording. Oh, there we go. Nice. There we go. Nice, that was a good hit. Nice, feels like a nice fish. He's gonna come up. <laughs> I'm just over here. He's coming on the left here. Oh yeah, strong fighter. I'll get him with the net putt. Nice, nice fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he's very nice. Oh man, he is. Yeah, that's a beauty. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, he's nice. Get him right in the net there. Heck yeah, nice spot. Good net job. There we go, guys. There's the first fish. I switched it up to the little uh, black woolly bugger with the bead head, and man, what a beauty, eh? There we go, guys. Absolute beauty to start the day. Nothing huge, but man, strong fighter. Let's see if we can upgrade. We'll get this one back. Look at that thick fish, eh? Yep. Nice some fat. Yeah. There she goes. All right. One on the board, baby. Thanks, guys. Oh, man. 
and it just whammed it, like friggin' whammed it. There we go. That was a good one. That was a good hit. Yeah, that was a good hit. Kill this for a sec. Yeah, that was a smacky poo. Stogging. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Fight him out here. Nice fish. Coming to you. Get him? Yep. Nice. Look at that beautiful fish. <laughs> Gotta love that, eh? Absolutely awesome. Smacked like a train. Let's get her back and her fight another day. There she goes. Awesome. Well, that wind came in today. Whew. Had some good conditions this morning, caught a couple nice fish, but that wind has come in and it's come in strong. Having a really hard time navigating the boat and just getting right on that drop off right where we want to be where those fish are. So I'm going to call it a day for now. Not to worry though, the Ashnola River awaits us tomorrow for my last day. Freaking stoked to bring you guys along. What a drive up, what a friggin' area. About 30 kilometers of forestry roads and this is where you end up. Beautiful Ashnola River. Never fished this river before. You can hear that water rushing, you know. It's that feeling, gets you so excited that you're getting close to the river. It's time to catch some fish. Water's fast enough. Low key presenting your fly. I know there's other types of indicators as well, but a lot of them will make a lot of splash on the river, stuff like that. So I really like the yarn for that reason. It's been a slow day fishing so far. My parents caught a couple nice rainbows, smaller guys, so that's freaking awesome. Freaking beautiful river either way. Love freaking exploring. It's not called catching, it's called fishing. I'm just enjoying my time out here. We're gonna cook up some hot dogs, regroup a little bit, see if any activity starts up on the water and go from there. Let's take it in. They're so hot. Oh, this is the life.
keep pulling. Nice. There he is. That's a good size, Mom. There. Oh, nice fish, Mom. There he goes. Nice job. It's a rough day for me today. I lost a couple flies. Didn't catch any fish, but you know what? The adventure, the trip out here, just seeing this. I Video doesn't do this justice. I wish I could give this to you guys. I wish I could just share my eyes with you, but this is the best I got right now. I thought it would only be fitting to end the video back up here where we started, on top of the mountain. We encountered some weather, we pivoted the plan and we made it happen. Did a bunch of exploring, discovered some new bodies of water, caught some beautiful trout, just friggin' had an amazing time. So happy I was able to share the adventure with you guys. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. And hopefully, I'll see you guys at the next spot.